Hey y'all, this is your girl Coco929, Libra aka Butterfly, um, I'm sorry, aka Libra Butterfly, so I know y'all remember me saying when I was on the live that when Mitch out, this is my mom texting me and I said, hold on y'all cause y'all know she lost her uncle yesterday, right? My mother was texting me to tell me that the auntie that raised me as her daughter, we were trying to find her since my cousin's uh, funeral, and we couldn't find her, okay? Come to find out, my aunt has been in the hospital. She passed out in the stairwell of her doctor's office. And they rushed her immediately to the hospital. She didn't know who she was. None of her stuff was with her because it was in the car. So once they finally found out who she was, per uh, somehow contacting the doctor or whatever, uh, the doctor's office where she was at, they got my mother's number and called my mama after calling her son, one of her sons, and said, we're calling you because we have your mother in the hospital. And this idiot kept hollering about, my mom ain't in no hospital, man. Y'all got the wrong number hanging up. Instead of saying, instead of thinking, well, how else would they get my number if mama's not in the hospital? So finally they called my mother and told her that her sister is in the hospital and has been in the hospital since last Wednesday. Nobody has noticed that my auntie hasn't been home. So when I tell y'all my attitude and my temper is something else, I'm praying. And I want you to pray with me. Because I'm on the war pad and I'm getting ready to go and act a complete fool at this house. Because I want to know how y'all her sons and y'all don't know where she's at. And then they call you to tell you where she's at. And you too busy to go check on your mama. Y'all. <sighs> anyway. She said all her stuff changed over. My mama is first on her, then it's me. So in case they can't get in touch with my mother, they calling me. Her daughter. They said what happened was she had a seizure. Had never had a seizure in her life. But she had a seizure on the stairwell. Y'all, what if she was driving? Which brings me to my second thing my mother was calling me about. She was calling me to let me know that the lady they just shown on the news. And I said, Mom, you know I'm watching the news. She said, that's right. She said, the lady they just shown on the news, she said, was in an accident or something happened and she flew through the windshield. She said, that was your cousin. So, let's take account, shall we? Now that it's five family members within three and a half weeks that's dead. So do y'all see why I try to keep my joy and why I try to tell y'all, watch what you put in your spirit, show each other more love and more understanding and y'all, I'm sitting here like, I don't even know what to, I, I'm just like, Lord, I'm, I'm, I just thank you. That's all I can do is just say, I thank you. Because just as hard as he's hitting my family, 
by taking taking people, the enemy, he's going to have to give us back in blessings. So, I'm I'm unbelievable. Unbelievable. With that being said, oh, third thing, so third thing. Do y'all remember I prophesied to y'all that before this month went out, I said, I feel within right before Christmas, there will be um, uh, some form of a uh, celebrity, a rapper, a singer, something of that nature that's going to go out of here that people going to know. I said, it's, it's going to be like historic. I said, it's going to be a well-known person. Well, I just found out that the dude who wore the hat on Houdini is dead. You know, the group Houdini Friends. Do, 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 do. How many of... I can't. Y'all have a good evening. <sighs> have a good evening. Smooches.